In ages past, the dragons and their crystals of power came to this barbaric land through the portal from Dragon World. The crystals brought strength and wisdom, especially the great Orathon, the mighty crystal with powers so vast it could only be wielded by the Dragon King himself. But though the dragons wanted only peace, their human allies wanted war. The kingdoms of Norvegan and Dragar misused the knowledge brought by the dragons, and battles erupted. Seeking to end the wars, the Dragon King made the wizard Xenos ambassador between the dragons and the two kingdoms. He was given dragon gifts and immortality. And for a time, Xenos and the Dragon King forced peace upon the land, but peace imposed by others cannot last. Then came the great betrayal. Evil forces arose, and the Dragon Queen was slain. In his anguish, the Dragon King and many of his followers returned to Dragon World, closing the portal. The Great Orathon, the receptacle of all dragon knowledge, and the only crystal whose powers could open the portal itself, went with them. That's what it looked like. Of course, no one's seen it for a thousand years. But... But we still have dragons, Dad. Hey? Oh, yes, Targon is an old friend of the family, so he stayed behind. You ready? Hmm? <laughs> you always tell me never to let myself get distracted by an opponent. <laughs> right you are, lad. <sighs> Help me up. No! What else do I always say? Never trust a soul. Except the dragons. So how many dragons are left? Targon there is all we Norvegan have these days. Although the legend says they may return when the war is over. I doubt it. Not if the Draegar keep hunting them. Those rotten Draegar! Whoa! I like the attitude, son, but you swung before you were ready. Think, lad! Plan! You're too impulsive. But other than that, an excellent practice. I do believe you're ready. For what? Ah, Xenos. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I have a surprise for you, my boy. <laughs> <gasps> we are in harmony. Let your senses seek the wisdom of the ancients. I feel you, Father. When you are ready, you may... Strike! <laughs> <laughs> skills have grown impressive. I have a good teacher. Aurora! Hey, no fair! That's cheating! That is battle, Kira. Nor beg and do not fight by the rules. You assumed we were finished, and we were not. You think too much. Sometimes a soldier must simply act. Don't think I'm gonna forgive you, Aurora, even if you are the last dragon we have. Oh, I think you shall. After all, someone must stand against those dragon-hunting Norvegan. Is that not right, Xenos? Oh, absolutely. I have come as you requested, King Sedai. Although sometimes I wonder, as the dragons vanish, the need for a dragon ambassador grows questionable. I could retire. 
<laughs> Looks like Aurora doesn't like that idea, Xenos. How complimentary. I understand you have a special surprise for your daughter. Indeed I do. Wow. Father, you mean my first dragon flight? Well. Perhaps not, hmm? As I recall, you are upset with Aurora at the moment. <laughs> with Aurora? No way. <laughs> We're best friends. Tell him, Aurora. <laughs> well, what do you think, Xenos? G great dragon, sir. Are you sweating again? Hmm. As always, Your Highness, I find it too warm here after the chill of my ice palace. But as for your daughter, I think she is ready. Then will you give her your blessing? By the powers bestowed upon me by the dragons, may these two fly together as one. Can I go? Can I? She's all yours, but be careful. <laughs> Come on, Aurora. Let's fly! <laughs> Have you ever seen Aurora accept a rider so completely, Xenos? Xenos? Rekar Sajari.
Dragon. Dragon. I knew they were behind this. Attack! Attack! Warriors! Troubled some. Yeah, you could tell. The wind speaks your mood. It always has. I sometimes wonder if it is affecting you, or whether you affect it. That's absurd. Sure it is. And yet, the wind is angry, and so are you. <laughs> Why shouldn't I be? I mean, this latest skirmish with the Dragars lasted eight years. That's half my life. What's eight years when the war itself has lasted a thousand? When you reach my age... When I reach your age, I want peace. And the sky? I want to see the sky filled with dragons again. You know the legend says they'll return when the war is over. <sighs> Wishful thinking. This war has sapped our land, our people, our energy. But tomorrow's battle... Will be the same, again. Let me end this. Tonight! What? Let me take Targon. I'll come in fast and hard, right into the Dragar castle itself. I can capture the princess and be gone before those Dragar can even respond. And with her as our captive, they'll be forced to surrender on our terms. <laughs> what? The princess is a respected fighter, son. She's a girl. I can do this. No. Wars are won by armies, not individuals. Besides. We need you for tomorrow's battle. No. This has to end. Tonight. I'm serious, Father. Too many Draeger soldiers have fallen in this battle. It's time to end it. By sacrificing you? No, out of the question. It's not a sacrifice. How do you do that? Sorry. You know I can't control it. But this I can. Issue a challenge. The Norvegian prince against me. One on one. To end the war once and for all. The risk is too high. I can take him, father. He's a clumsy brawler, a Norvegian. I'm the best fighter you have. You said so yourself. And you can prove that tomorrow in battle with soldiers beside you. As it should be. What are you saying? That you want another thousand years of war? mention the legend, but I know you want your kind to return as much as I do. This has to happen. The Norvegian and I have to face each other. I can feel it. So if my father won't issue the challenge, I'll challenge the prince myself. Let's go, Aurora. Ah! Targon. Fast and hard.
something is happening. Something momentous. My crystal of scrying. Ah! This is interesting. The two royals. of my own. This'll do. on the ground? After you. <laughs> Good move. But you should have finished me while I was down. Wouldn't have been fair. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Fair's fair, as you said. Let me know when you're ready to start again. Where is Prince Dead? Sire, the lookout reported him flying out on Targon before dawn. Well then, he shall miss our triumph, Amen. Let the wisdom of the ancients guide all weapons, and may the North Vagan fall beneath them!
familiar about this place. Well, there, there should be. It's where you and I first met eight years ago. I remember the ball of flame from the sky. Yeah, I always sort of wondered where that went. I see it scarred your face as well. Have you noticed anything else? Like what? Unusual things, things nobody can seem to explain. <sighs> you mean... Like that? was so eager for battle, he started without us! Yeah! Princess Kira has joined us for our victory! Let us not disappoint her!
sold. These guys are not your buddies. chance if you don't come with me. What were those creatures? Morgans. The servants of a rogue dragon. They ride no guards. Swamp dragons. Well, they've got my father. You have to go after them. You have a more important task ahead of you. What's more important than rescuing my father? Hang on! my home here on Dragon Mountain. You made this? Yeah, he's a wizard, duh. Ice is one of my greatest powers, a gift from the Queen Dragon. All dragons have powers contained in those crystals they wear around their necks. The site where I just found you was once the Congress for Dragons and Humans. It was there they decided how best to use these powers. Each crystal has its own power. This dragon's crystal, for instance, allows me to see into another's mind. Looking into his mind won't take long. <laughs> if it's a dragon's crystal, how come you have it? Many dragons entrusted me with their crystals when they left this world. As Dragon Ambassador, I can use them as well. Interesting. I see that you are concerned about your father and Targon. Yeah, obviously, so can that we... That you intended to kidnap Princess Kira to force an end to the war. <gasps> Why, you cowardly creep! Because you secretly long for the war to be over, so that the dragons will return. We're wasting time. What I need is a crystal that'll help me rescue my father. There is one. The Arathon. The Arathon? Of legend? Its powers are immense. But right now, the rogue has it. This rogue? You say he was the giant fireball that knocked us from the sky when we were kids? By the time I arrived on the scene, he had vanished. I've been looking for him ever since. And you think he was behind the attack? Not think, no. I recognize his tactics. But where did he come from? And why? He must have stolen the Orathon and used it to open the portal from Dragon World. But he was badly injured in the process. He's been in hiding ever since, trying to heal before I find him. Sounds like you two have issues. We do. Injured. Those ugly brutes captured both the kings. That a girl, Aurora. The warm oil will speed the healing. I still don't see why you can't come with us. The rogue knows that my strength is ice. He has taken refuge in a cavern of fire. With this and the Orathon, I cannot stand against him. And we can? You two are the best warriors in your kingdoms. Huh. Apparently that's not what my father thinks. Mine either. Then do this. Prove yourselves. I don't know. I've fought against plenty of Draegar, but I've never fought alongside one before. I'd rather do this alone. Mm -hmm. Afraid I'll show you up? 
Now listen, stork. Save it for the dragon, please. And take these. What are they? Have you ever seen what happens to a container full of water in the snow? Yeah. It freezes and explodes. Exactly. I have extracted that explosive quality of ice and filled these harpoons with it. Really? Cool. Guys. My scrying crystal indicates that crevice is your way in. You'll have to get past the Vorgan guards. No problem. Huh. Let's go. Remember, don't try to defeat the dragon. Just get the Arthorn and get out. Feels bad. These are starting to drip. And I suspect we don't want to be around when they melt. Here, you get his attention. I'll grab the Orathon. Hey, wh who said you're giving the orders? All right. Uh, where is he anyway?
gone. It's not here! No, but you are. Certain, but judging from the temperature, I can guess. Ah, yes. And what does your so called Dragar wisdom tell you? That I've been an even bigger fool than you have. Of course. Humans are not the only ones who can communicate. But Xenos never said anything about- Xenos? That treacherous wizard's words are nothing but betrayal and deceit. Is that why he sent you two rather than his Vorgans? Uh, his Vorgans? He said they were yours. <laughs> you shall see soon enough where their true allegiance lies. But they have my father. And mine. That's why we're after the Orthon. Xenos told us! <laughs> Xenos knew I had hidden it. That's why he sent you on this fool's errand. He knew you would be captured. He hoped that I would reveal its hiding place to you. Of course. The scrying crystal! Blast! Gortas! Attack! <laughs> What are you going to do with us? Nothing here. We're about to have company. Definitely not your buddies. Release us, we can help you. Bacon? What else would I need? Listen, Link. Stop it, both of you. We are approaching a sacred place. Oroboros, most sacred of all the dragon temples. Impossible. The Ring of Oroboros has been abandoned for a thousand years. Legends say it was magical. <laughs> that only the Dragon King could open it. Indeed.
and it is time you faced your destiny. Huh? You traitorous wizard! These are dragon bones! You are the one who has been killing the remaining dragons! Their crystals add to my power. And besides, Vorkans need to eat. That is inhuman! <laughs> I've done worse. Of course, the Orathon would be the mightiest crystal of all. Only Thoron knows where it is. But since your blasted children fought off my Vorkans, I'm having a little trouble locating him. Well, good for them! Both of them! May your children bring you a well-deserved defeat. Oh, shut up. When we gave Xenos the power to utilize the Dragon Crystals, it was only because we felt it would help bring peace, shared wisdom, and knowledge between our worlds. Little did we know how such power would corrupt him. Xenos conspired with Stendhal, an evil dragon whose power was strength, to slay my queen and take her ice crystal. This was the horrific sight that greeted my eyes when I arrived. Not enough. No wonder you went back to the Dragon World. Stendhal was imprisoned for a thousand years, but the vengeance in his evil heart only grew. When he was finally released, his first act was to attack me again. He and I almost destroyed each other, but in the battle, the Orathon was activated, opening the portal to this world. I stopped him, but I was hurled through myself. Then you bumped into us. Literally. And it was well that I did. For I learned that the traitor Xenos still lived, protected by the gift of immortality we dragons bestowed upon him. It was known he would seek the Orathon, and I was too injured to fight him. Into myself, I absorbed the crystal. and there divided it. And thus the great gem was hidden in two vessels, which would soon be miles apart. You mean the Orthons in us? But how could you do such a thing? I had little choice. If Xenos obtains the Orathon, he can open the portal. Combined with his other crystals of power, no dragon or human will be able to stand against him. It would mean doom for both our worlds. So that explains these strange abilities of ours. The Orathon's powers are elemental. Earth, wind, fire, water. I gave you each the ability for one, in the hopes it might help you survive. It has. But we can't really control them. That is the role of Ouroboros. To unlock and focus these powers. Behold! Concentrate. And as for you, huh. relax. The power is part of you. Feel it. Don't try to command it. <sighs> so, what made you?
you choose us? Targon and Aurora. Uh -huh. They saw in you a unity of purpose, a desire for peace even at the cost of yourselves. <laughs> This is greatness. A greatness that may yet save your kingdoms. Or may not. Oops. Within. Gortas! Launch your squadron and take these. should do it, boy. In a few weeks, you'll be as good as new. No! Hold still! You're not well yet! your strength back we can control our powers and xenos may not even know we're here <laughs> certain to have prepared for our arrival.
Hmm. What? Your foolhardy children think to challenge me? Our children? Both of them? Together! What a team they'll make! Short-lived one, I promise you. <laughs> Can you take them? Not with you two on my back. Just get us over the castle. We'll take it from there. Vagar, are you ready? After you, no vagan.
such powers? That's for us to know. And you to find out. And find out I shall. Now, let us see what is in your minds. Of course. The Orathon! Divided in two, and under my nose this whole time. Very clever, Thoron, but not clever enough. <laughs> you monster! Thanks for the hand. What the? That's right. This is the work of Thoron. Dragons gave me immortality, but I could not heal. And for this, I shall have my revenge! Let the portal to the dragon world be opened! Let me 
children retain the Orathon. Now you cannot defeat me, and they are helpless. Are they? You question me! I, who for a thousand years have manipulated their ancestors like puppets! I took their dragons and they blamed each other, as I intended. I know how they think. I know how they feel. I know what they can do. They are but weak humans, and they can do nothing! I beg to differ, traitor. They are Prince Dev and Princess Kira, and they have been chosen by the dragons themselves! Behold! May the peace and trust they brought us last a thousand years and more. To Prince Dev and Princess Kira! <laughs> gonna do now my whole life's been fighting the Dragar. is there anything else i guess that's what we're gonna find out still xenos told the truth about one thing you wish about the legend laugh if you want but i always dreamed that someday if the dragons came back this is the place where i'd see it you mean like that huh Dragons forever! <laughs> 